Happy Friday, DP. Olivia and Ashley signing in. On today's show, yearbook distribution. Info about Erasma. Honor Society officers and more. Summer's getting closer and senioritis is getting stronger, but we're not done quite yet. DP, DP News starts now. Congratulations to our 2016-2017 Honor Society officers. Your president is Cara Portier, your VP is Katie Yang, your secretary is Joanna Zukin, and your treasurer is Zoe Lee Park. Thanks to everyone who participated in the election. Did you get your yearbook yesterday at Yearbook Distribution? Sure did, but if you have not, you can pick them up or still buy them on Tuesday at Nutrition, Lunch, or After School. It's a pretty good book if I do say so myself. True that, but what takes this award-winning yearbook to the next level has to be its connection to Erasma. Why don't you demonstrate, Ashley? First, you download the app Erasma on your phone. Create an account and then follow DP Yearbook 16. From there, all you have to do is scan a specific photo to see even the more awesome content, like this. Nice. Okay, now a message for our seniors. <clears throat> if you've rented a hallway locker on campus, they need to be turned in between May 25th and June 7th during school hours to Ms. Sigler's office. Please make sure to remember your locker number and combination. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Rigel, secretary to Ms. Sigler. Don't forget to turn it in. This is a major key to success. You're a little late on that trend. Nah, I've got this on lock. Now a quick note about the Econ Fair. The Econ Fair has been a tradition here at DP for several years, but unfortunately second semester Econ students will not be participating in the Econ Fair. To read more about this story, head to thechargeraccount.org. Now we have an important message from admin. Beginning today, May 25th, and moving forward, the previously identified H-Wing Girls West restroom will now be designated as a gender neutral restroom. Per California and federal law, students who attend public schools are entitled to access the restrooms that correspond to their self-identified gender. In addition to several single-stall restrooms on campus, students who prefer to use a gender-neutral restroom will now be able to do so in the centrally located H-Wing. You will note new signage designated as it is such. That's all your campus news we have for you today. Have a great three-day weekend. Throwing it over to Peter with the sports. What's up, DP? This is Peter here with your sports report. Softball endured a tough loss in the Division IV CF quarterfinals yesterday by a score of 4-3 against La Quinta High School. Our girls played great, playing into extra innings, but ultimately losing in the bottom of the eighth inning on a sacrifice fly. Ari Cruz and Sienna Wagner both had great days at the plate, going 2-3 for three with Ari having one RBI and Sienna having two RBIs, one to tie the game at 3-3. Three three. Maddie Pickett pitched great again, throwing five-plus innings and striking out three batters. Our girls wrapped up their season with a 21-8 overall record. Great season, girls. Today, at home, baseball has a home quarterfinal game against Ukaipa High School at 315. This is a huge game for the baseball team because they have not won a CIF quarterfinal game in 23 years. Come up after school to watch our boys make history, but try to get there as early as possible because the seats will fill up fast. That's all for your sports report, DP. Now we're Nandini with current events. Hey DP, it's Nandini with the news. This weekend, the Santa Barbara Mission will host the annual I Modinari Street Art Festival. Artists from all over will transform the pavement in front of the mission to a vibrant patchwork of pastels. The event is free and everyone is encouraged to participate, either by just being a spectator or sponsoring one of the artists. There will also be a special section for young artists. The event is held Saturday, Sunday, and Monday and benefits the Children's Creative Project. NewsHawk says the Children's Creative Project is a program of the Santa Barbara County Education Office. 
It serves 50,000 children in more than 100 schools in Santa Barbara and San Luis Obispo counties. In addition to the artwork, there will be live music and an authentic Italian market featuring an array of Italian and other cuisine and specialty items. Thanks for listening, DP. Have a great weekend. And now over to Sarah with the weather. I'm Sarah Rasmussen here today with the weather forecast. Today we're looking at a high of 75 degrees with a low of 57 degrees. As we transition from May gray to June gloom, a large trough of low pressure is still in place over California and that will allow for lower clouds and some patchy fog to form again tonight along the central and south coasts. We can expect low clouds and areas of fog each morning followed by sunshine each afternoon. Due to the clouds, low temperatures will be seasonably mild to slightly warmer than average. This weekend's temperatures are looking to range from the high 50s to the low 70s with gray mornings and sunny afternoons. Perfect weather for a three-day weekend. That's all we have for you today on DP News Chargers. Have a safe and responsible weekend. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey DP, my name is Jeffrey Chow. I'm here with another Chow Challenge. It's only four minutes long, so teachers with finals, please turn off the TV and continue with finals. Anybody else watching? Watch it. Hello, Dos Pueblos. My name is Jeffrey Chow. I'm here with another Chow Challenge. I'm here with... Coach McCoy. Head coach of the track and field team. All right, coach, what will I get if I score one point against your track and field team? Hmm, let me think about that. A kiss from senior Sofia Martinez? How do you feel about that, coach? I think she's going to kill you. Let's see, about, let's see what happens about that. Let's go. That... I believe I can touch the sky 